two.
Good morning. Good to be in the house of the Lord today. Good to see each one in the Lord's house. Uh, today has went different than planned, as those of you know. But it's went the way God had planned. We had homecoming planned today. Uh, we had a meal planned earlier. And because of the uh, numbers of increasing around us, we didn't think it was safe to have the meal today, so we were still going to have the singing. The uh, the singers called about 10 last night, that's why the text was out late, but uh, uh, the singers, a lot of them are sick. I really don't know exactly what it is, but uh, they're, they're symptomatic, so... Uh, but, but God knew all that, and God knew that we'll all be here today, and uh, God has a plan. We might not understand that plan, but I trust His plan, don't you? God knows what we need, and God knows that all of us will be here, and uh, good to have all of our visitors with us today. Uh, we have the Britt family with us today, and, and the Bailey family, and also Daniel and his fiancés with us, and um, others. Uh, if you're visiting with us, we welcome you. Thank the Lord for uh, you being here. Anybody got a song or a testimony in your heart before we go any further? All right, turn with us in the book of Romans, chapter number 13. Romans 13, verse number 11. And if you find your place, stand with us, the reverence of God's word. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in riding and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and en envying. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the reading of your word, and we just pray, God, today, God, that you'd get us out of the way, and Lord, you'd use us for your glory and your honor. We thank you, Lord, that, God, you know exactly what we need, and Lord, and when we need it. And we just pray, God, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Begin to think about time and uh, what the Bible tells us about time. And, and there is a uh, uh, scripture there in, in Ephesians chapter number 5 and verse 15. It says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Now, as I read in, in Romans chapter number 13, we'll back up there just a minute, that knowing the time, and it is, a, we're, we're living in a bad time. We all know that, don't we? Um, it is, it is, uh, the Bible is being fulfilled, and, and uh, we, we know that, uh, uh, that, that a lot of things are happening, uh, worse than COVID uh, going on around us, our, our country, and things that's going on, on there. Uh, there are sicknesses other than COVID folks are dealing with. And, uh, but I, I, I believe as God's people, we are reminded, need to be reminded that uh, Jesus is soon coming. Knowing the time, being aware of the time. You think about uh, uh, God still holds the time. He had the say-so when, when He made this world. 
He had the say so when He made you and I. And He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And friend, He is the time. And let me say that uh, uh, that uh, uh, when throughout our life and all the things that we face, uh, I believe God is in control uh, of time. But the time that He has allowed us, are we taking advantage of that time? Now, the, the word uh, circumspectly means... It says to walk circumspectly. That means to be careful to consider all circumstances and consequences. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and thanks and supplication and thanksgiving, make our supplications be made known unto God. And it goes on to say, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now that word redeem means to buy. We've been redeemed. We've been bought with a price. The Bible tells us uh, uh, that we've been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit with your God. He bought us back. Amen. He, uh, 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 he uh, reconciled us back to God. Now, redeeming the time means to gain back the time. To regain possession of it. I begin to think today, there's been a lot of things, a lot of time that we've wasted in life. A lot of valuable time that God has, has allowed uh, all of us. And, uh, and I believe the most wasteful time is one's life that's not lived for God in this life. Everyone has ample opportunity to accept Jesus Christ in their lifetime. In a life that's not accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior is a wasted life. But I begin to think also about wasteful time even after we're saved. Time that we're not redeeming. Time that we've wasted with with. with, with Maybe focusing on on the uh, uh, things of this world of gaining, uh, you know, making a living and 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 working our fingers to the bone. But the Bible said, if you think about what Solomon said. It, it's all in vain and vexation of the of the spirit of all the things that we work our fingers to the bone and and labor for and spend a lot of time at. But then at the end, all the things that we gain, we don't take with us. It's somebody else's to fight over or fuss over. You think about what the rich man, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plenty. And he didn't have enough barns to sow all his good. And he said, I'll, I'll build, I'll tear down my barns and I'll build greater. I'll expand, and then I'll be satisfied. He said, then I'll say, so, so take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said, thou, thou fool, this not thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose uh, uh, things, uh, uh, your things will they be? And you, you think about, of all the, the things we put most important in our life is vanity. There's a lot of vanity that we're putting up here when it really doesn't matter. Now, I was thinking about time. Time is the most valuable thing we all possess. But it's the most neglected thing. Time. Time with God is time well spent. We need God's help. We need God's wisdom. We need God's guidance. I was thinking of this. and uh, uh, Raising children is a great responsibility. And wisdom, they need wisdom. Not man's wisdom, not man's opinion. And let me say this about man's opinion. Man's opinion is not wisdom. Amen. There's a lot of people gets that in uh, 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 
confused. Everybody's got an opinion. But let me say, the Bible tells us that let God be true and every man a liar. What that means is wisdom comes from God. I don't need to know what somebody else thinks about a matter. I need to know what God is saying. Because it's important to know what God is saying so that I can tell my young'uns and your young'uns what God is saying. That makes sense. We need God's wisdom. I believe re- redeeming the time is laying aside traditions, laying aside opinions, and listening to what God has always said. Because that's all that's going to matter. Amen. That sound doctrine is God's Word. Sound doctrine is not some form of of man's opinion. Sound doctrine is what God has always said. I begin to think about the, the time that we have with our family is valuable time. Time that we have with our children is valuable time. There's a lot of time that we spend, and, and I believe that we neglect the, the people that loves us the most is the people that we neglect the most. Number one, we neglect God. No one's loved us more than God has. Amen? No one has ever loved us like God, and I believe we neglect Him the most. Number two is our family. No one loves you more than your family. And I believe that's the second one we neglect the most. We neglect. And the time, and, and, and I say this a lot at, at, at funerals even. The time you spend one with another, that is in the memories you make. That is something that will never, ever be taken away from you. Amen? That that, that is something that money can't buy. There's a lot of things money can buy. But the most valuable things, money can't touch it. Number one, salvation cannot be purchased. The blood of Jesus Christ paid for it. Man, peace and joy and happiness and 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 uh, Peter said it's joy uh, uh, unspeakable and full of glory. The joy of your salvation is priceless. Your relationship with God is priceless. Money can't buy what God gives us, and it's free to us. But He paid for it. These memories, memories you spend with your family, memories you make. I mean, we made memories yesterday as a church and uh, 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 the youth uh, up at the lake. And uh, those, those was uh, uh, memories, memories that we uh, have with, with, our, with our friends, our church family, time you take. And, 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 you know, we all have a choice every day how we live our life and what, what time we take. And the time you spend with the Lord, your devoted time, that's, that's very, very crucial time every day out of your life is spending time with God. Even Jesus gave us that example. He got along with God. He got along with the Lord and went and prayed off by himself. And he's, he's, that's a good example of us of how, how, that, how that we need to take that time with the Lord. Because your time with the Lord has everything to do with how much salt you have about you with the time you spend with everybody else. I want to make a difference, don't you? I, I, I want to I leave somebody and say, boy, I was helped by being with him today. Amen. I was encouraged by being with, 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 with him today. 
And, 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 that, and to make, redeeming the time is to have some salt about us. To have God on us. Amen. Amen. Am I making sense today? Yeah. We're wasting a lot of time. Amen? When we are within ourselves and so self-centered about us and about our gain, and we're wasting God's time of giving Him glory in what we're doing. We need to involve God in everything we do. Because let's look at it. Our life is in His hands. We say we don't have time. What is time to God? He's in control of time. One day is a thousand years. A thousand years to one uh, 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 is one day in heaven. God has the say so. Our bounds are set, and when God says our time is up, that nothing's going to change that. But we can change today. And I was thinking about. Uh, uh, there uh, uh, in 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 Second Corinthians, uh, there uh, that uh, now's accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Now is all we got. You can't go back and redo yesterday. You can live in regret all you want to. Let me tell you how to take care of regret. Get it under the blood. Amen. And when it's under the blood, it's forgiven. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Our sins is cast as far as east is from the west to be remembered no more when it's under the blood. Your past don't have to haunt you. You don't have to waste time by living in regret. I know a preacher, his, his brother was... I just got saved and at a camp meeting, and he said uh, we were just rejoicing that he had got saved, and and he left that night just uh, I, just uh, I claiming the victory. But the next night he came in and he said he, he looked like a whoop pup, and he said I didn't. He said we had a wonderful service, but I saw him sitting over there just uh, no emotion whatsoever, was something on his mind, and he said. What is wrong with you? He said, I went up to him after the service and said, what is wrong? He said, my past. He said, you know all the things I've done. He said, what past? He said, now Phil, you, you don't mess with me. You, you know me. He said, nobody knows me better than you do. He said, you know the things I've done. He said, what past? He said, the reason why I keep saying what passed is because that's what God is saying what passed when He has washed your sins and cleansed you and made you a fit subject for the kingdom of heaven. We can waste time by living in regret. But making a difference, making a difference, walking circumspectly. I know we all made bad decisions, but we don't have to continue in those bad decisions. We've all messed up, but we don't have to continue messing up. We can walk circumspectly, considering ever circumstances and situations, being careful for nothing, walking in the Spirit. When you walk in the Spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust thereof, the Bible says. We need to be walking in the Spirit instead of walking in the flesh. A lot of times we get full of ourselves. And then we tend to give our own opinion and, and put our own two cents in worth. But it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what God always has said. Amen? Redeeming the time. Because it's high time that we awake out of the sleep... If you're living a life of, of, of slothfulness and slumber in your Christian life, you're pretty miserable and you're not claiming the victory in Jesus. Church will mean a whole lot more to you if you wake up out of sleep. The Bible will mean a whole lot more to you if you wake up. 
the songs we sing in the choir and the songs we sing in the Red Book, songs we hear, good gospel songs will have more meaning. We'll just wake up. I've wondered how many things we've missed out on just because that we have been so wrapped up in the wrong things. And maybe it's, it's not what we're thinking is big, big sins and big things. It's just things we're wrapped up in that's taken our mind and it's taken our testimony and taken our joy. Am I making sense? And all the while, the devil's sitting back laughing. And I want to say, we a lot of times we have missed out on a lot of things from God just because we've simply not asked Him. We've not asked Him. I've got a friend of mine that makes a statement, and I, I love it. You miss out on a lot of chocolate cake by not asking. That's a good that's a good philosophy right there, ain't it? You miss out on a lot of chocolate cake by not asking. I believe we miss out on a lot of things from God. Blessings of God. Direction from God by just not asking. You receive not because you ask not. There's a lot of things about me that I don't like because I'm in this old flesh. And I'm sure there's a lot of things about you you don't like either. But I'm glad God knows how to fix that. God knows how to make a vessel of honor out of us. Out of this old vile flesh, there's nothing good in your flesh. Even after you're saved, you still as filthy rags outside of Jesus Christ. Amen? But God still knows how to take this vessel, clean it up, and get some use out of it. Now, don't he? I mean, Paul even said, one of the greatest men of God in history, O wretched man that I am, That's because God saved your soul, not your flesh. That's why you're still, that's why we still have to sanctify it. And that's why we still have to, to say, to, to uh, when we do sin, have an advocate with the Father and repent of the, our sins. To keep this old vessel in, in sanctification, just keep this in line. Amen. Amen. Oh, wretched man that I am. There's nothing good in this flesh, but... I pray that God would help us today redeem the time. Make good of the time that God's given you. And every time that we come to church, we need to make good of it. Redeem the time. How many times, how many services, where our minds been so occupied maybe, and that we've not really got the blessing or maybe that God had intended for us today. How much have we missed out on the good chocolate cake from heaven that God wanted to bless us with, but our mind's been so occupied with other things. Redeem the time. Let me say this and share this and I'm going to close. There's been some things in my life and time that I have have spent with my loved ones and made great, great me memories that, that I cherish dearly. And, and, and one of them, and I've shared this before, but I feel like sharing it again. My, my grandpa, Jack Street, he passed away uh, a couple years ago and, and uh, it was about the week before he died. Um, I was wide open that day, running here and there, and, and God just burdened my heart to go see him. And I did. I dropped everything. 
and I went over and, and I drove, drove the old Cadillac over there and pulled up and he was sitting on the porch and he had been to bed all day the day before but that day he'd, he was sitting on the porch and he couldn't really see good and, but he could tell the way I was walking who it was he said Kevin's that you I said yeah he said what are you driving I said I'm driving a Cadillac he said would you take me a ride in it I've always wanted to ride in a Cadillac And we went up the road in that Cadillac, and he touched everything in that Cadillac. He, t he touched the, the seats. Lord, have mercy. He said, is it brand new? And I said, no, it's about 19, 20 years old. But that memory, that was the last ride he ever took. Because it wasn't long after that, he, I think he passed away the next Thursday. I will never, ever forget that memory and that moment I took with him. Yeah, I was busy. I had things I needed to do. But I'm glad I dropped what I was doing and spent time with him. Things you do with your family. Time lasts. They ain't always going to be here. Redeem the time. Make good at the time that you have with your family. As a man told me yesterday, talking about a uh, uh, day that uh, his, uh, just had a, a, a father-daughter day. Had to go to the doctor, but made a father-daughter day out of it after they went to the doctor. That's good memories right there. Yes, good times. Yes. Going fishing, going hunting. Make good of the time, because... These memories are very valuable. Man, love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your soul, and all your strength. And love thy neighbor as thyself. I believe if we do that, we're redeeming the time. Regaining the time, getting it back. You've got a choice, and I've got a choice, to live in regret or do something. About now. I can't redo yesterday and years past, but I can do something about today. Amen. I can do something about now. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. And I pray, God, that you'd help us. Help us, Lord, to realize, God, what time it is. And Lord, help us to redeem the time. In Jesus' name, amen.